What's up guys, this is the Brofman and I am back to bring the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to run off where we left off, um, a force has sallied out to attack Henry Paget, who is on his way to take Minsk. I mean, it is important to note that we do need to capture this city, city fairly quickly because it's getting towards winter and we will suffer quite large amounts of attrition. So let's fight. Fortunately, we are drawing in to damage them outside of the fort. So I think I think Henry's going to be okay. But I've got a couple of armies which I don't know how well they're going to be. I'll probably test if I could build how well forts do Given in that time regard. To prepare, a defending army can deploy portable... Okay, so... Very undulating terrain. I get the impression, oh, we get defensive positions. Because I felt this line here looked like a nice place to go. Damn this weather, sir. But if we did, if, if we get defensive positions, then I think I'd be a fool to not try and use them. So, artillery on the hill. Let's take a selection of infantry. Brought them across from the top of that hill to the guns. I mean, there's no other really good terrain for artillery apart from this hill. It does produce its own problems. No, I think the best idea was the one I had previously to advance up, advance up to the road. Because that gives us opportunity to deploy all of our guns. We will not get defensive positions, but it means we can move into a better firing position. So let's split up. Rifle was in the middle of the line, that should be okay. you guys let's unlimber you and put you there two hearts says I'll follow up through the trees in the centre splitting my cavalry up the bulk of which is on the right flank with their artillery or with their general sorry good so might need to be a shift in my position over to the right or well, there will need to be a shift which is a bit dangerous but not overly so Spread out our line. Get the left dragoons on the left. Get my dragoons up into these trees. Let's move my howitzers up into position. General will take position on the hill behind these trees. And let's speed up time, because right now, nothing's really going on. So they're advancing on me, so I would very much like my guns to get in position, especially as we're under fire. So they're aiming at my line infantry in the centre. So we are going to be late in getting our guns in position relatively they'll be in position ready to fire to fire on the infantry to be honest I might go a bit more extreme of this flank and do this let's move up my cavalry let's 
To be honest, my howitzers can probably go to here before they before they unlimber because they're coming into range. I hear cavalry charges. Good. Unlimber the foot. Unlimber my um, howitzers. Slightly to the flank a minute. Then into the side of the wedge. Our rifles have engaged. And limber our guns and go straight to canister shot. A little bit of a boogie going on. This artillery, get my cavalry moving up. Fall my cavalry back. Good, my guns are engaging. Glorious victories, huh? It's soon to be on, barrage. Start to target some of the infantry coming in with my howitzers. Cavalry go in against their guns. General's units being smashed a bit. I don't want to go too mad in chasing them down because they do have reinforcing troops coming in. I just don't know where they are. Let's go to these are lancers. So my dragoon guards go against the lancers. My other cavalry go against the guns. Let's put some artillery support on the flank. The Dragoon Guards should win against the the Lancers. Good. Keep going against the gun crews. Oh, the, Sim the Simonovsky Light Guard. Not Light Guard. Drop our howitzer shots in the centre. Barrage with round shots. It's the Lancer dealt with going against the, the Cossack cavalry, because otherwise they will just run you down. We're in a good position to cause a rout here, potentially. Maybe not on the flank for my dragoons, but at least they're not being targeted. Yeah, that dragoon unit's probably going to rout. Good, lots of routing in the centre. Our men are running, sir. Yeah, that's that dragoon unit. Enforcement's going to come from. That's what I'd like to know. Let's pivot the line. That's it. Back up there. Yep, that is. That's they're in. They're coming from over there somewhere. Yep, there they are. I 
somehow to support in against this flank. Let's run you chaps into position. Because if they're coming from over here, I can afford to fold this flank. This flank, it's more to about here. Yep, it's the end of the Lancers. So I'm not so bothered about chasing them down. Okay, those guns I want. Fire around, shunt to the Ulans and get my cavalry out of dodge. Lots of lost guns for the Russians. Good. They've fallen back on this flank. Let's come out into pounding these infantry units here. shot the lifeguard and barrage barrage the lancers let's get my cavalry over on the left Link at the Cossacks at range. Yep, cavalry's broken. Set both my guns to engage the 10th Regiment of Musketeers. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Send my rifles to chase them down, because they have no other purpose now. I have no reinforcements to retreat them in favour for, so just have at it. Go get them, rivals. As soon as you get them into combat, they're actually better. Okay, let's get you out of there. Silly move. Let's get you out of dodge and just retreat you. Both my mortars engage the musketeer unit. I mean, I'm not sure what this general unit wants to do, but here it's quite good. Not general's unit, well, it effectively is their general's unit. Blaster with canister. We got some of them. Let's go back to round shotting this square formation. Okay, let's limber this artillery up. Run the foot guards back into position. And to be honest, let's take all of you. Stretch you out more like this. Boom. Guards. 
So let's position... Well, let's start to position our line for the next fight. The lancers are wavering because they've charged a decent unit of infantry from the front. They're going to be shot off their horses. There we go. So my left flank is going to run out of ammunition fairly quickly. So this is why it's. Okay, let's just get the rifles away. You guys have done your part as much as you can. Which one of these last pieces of Russian troops to just clear off? I want to start dropping. Hmm, they've broken, but will they route? Let's barrage fire into the square. Oh, they've come back. Let's pick these guns and get them firing at the infantry as it's coming in. Let's turn fireball off for you guys. Hmm, they forced them back again. Now they're shattered. Good. Now we can pour fire into the Russians as they advance. you guys to hit the these mounted rifles and let's probably speed up time a little bit because I doubt they want to advance because this is the garrison that's coming in speed up time and allow our artillery to do some good work although no don't march out of range come back there we go Mounted rifles are going for a charge. Canister barrage. Mounted rifles. Yes, yeah, you've had enough. Still smashing into their cavalry, but I'm just going to run them forward. Just run the time forward a little bit, because right now the only people that can be frustrating are their is their artillery, and that's not really a major risk for us. I mean, we could go for the mounted rifles before they before they engage us, and let's retarget our artillery to engage their grenadiers. Okay, let's let's take our Cossacks around the flank. The Dragoon Guards can wait to see what their Cossack cavalry does. But yet they are now just getting pounded by our artillery. So we've got grenadiers, grenadiers. These are all grenadiers. Yeah, they are all grenadiers. Huh. Do 
do you need to be retargeted? There we go. Let's run my light cavalry straight in. Let's speed up time again in just a little bit. Yeah, my cavalry is going to have a hell of a time. Chase down the gun teams, they may as well. Then mow down the Grenadiers, the 16th, the 15th, the 13th, and the 14th. A solid run of Grenadiers. It's not really very good for them health-wise. I think this first unit's going to break pretty quickly. Let's get my guns on the hill to target their cavalry. Even, the, even though these guys are going to run out of ammo fairly quickly, I can advance them up. That was a great how to shot. Right, pull them into the middle of the front rank. Cavalry and against their cavalry. Let's retarget my artillery. Because these are only just Cossacks. They're Lance cavalry, but they aren't fab cavalry. And as you can see, they immediately broke. Granted, they were at half strength. They're shattered. So now the only thing to do is wait for the rest of their infantry to break then unleash all of my cavalry. So speed up time a little bit. Let's watch it play out. It's two units broken. Three units broken. Get my cavalry out of the way, because otherwise they're just going to aggro onto my cavalry and not actually get involved. Yep. Chase my cavalry down. So let's halt all artillery fire. Yep, yeah, we've caught them on in formation, so they're not going to be able to get any fire off. Granted, the charge was a bit pants. Continue the battle, bring up our general. You continue to chase down the grenadiers. Run them down. I don't mind running them down now because there's no more troops to enter the field. Sir, our general is under attack. No, he's not. He's having a grand old time. Good, they've massacred that unit, so let's bring them all over up. No way, have you? It's a horse team that's playing silly buggers, but it looks like it's been dealt with. Good stuff, the war general at work. I mean, they're doing a good job, but actually just bonking them on the head. He's had extra experience. That's their men dealt with.
good. Although there is... These guys are probably going to get away. But that's okay. They were pretty... Pretty comprehensively defeated and damn right it was a decisive victory. Just and nice and safe. Yeah. Reasonable exchange ratio. Oh, they've gone back to the city. <laughs> Ooh, they have actually attacked Munich. Let's do this. This is a lovely city. I suspect they might be they might be worrying about the same problems as I am, but I don't I don't think the winter is this harsh this far west because why would it be? I don't know, maybe it is. I don't know. I'm not actually <laughs> I've not played this game in winter yet. No, I must have done. Yeah, so they have their breach. Put down our stakes. Let's deploy yes, sir. some light infantry onto yes, the walls sir. in case they fancy their chances at doing something yes, sneaky. Infantry, yes. yes These guys can deploy their mines. I could go overkill. New deploy. Bang. Fencibles, get on this rear rank. Get out of the way. Dutch garrison. Because they could make another breach, but they've got so few troops. I really don't care if they do. So these guys will have no job. So let's turn fireball off. These guys can just have trenches. Good. You could deploy stakes, but get them inside. Guns are on the move. Swiss Jaeg and the Armoury. This Lightfoot can go up here, I suppose. We have taken a building, sir. You can go up here, I suppose. Let's probably shrink this infantry unit a bit, just so there's not as much fratricide. Means I will suck and spread these troops out like this. Oh, they are going to try and still come around the flank. Horse artillery is very agile. Go look at this. <laughs> Quick, guys! Gotta get this goddamn gun in position right now! How are you doing, Vlad? I'm doing brilliant! This is great! Oh, God. So damn. Good God. They'll bring them into point blank range, aren't they? Bang. Here they come. Here they come. It's the Moscow Musketeers. Bang! They're wavering. Oh, 
Okay, I think they're going to try to take this building. I mean, <laughs> they made it in, fair enough. So what the Russians are going to experience is they're going to be against my Dutch garrison. They are getting shot in the rear by Swiss Jaegers. So they're much less likely to miss. And they're shooting into the rear of the enemy formation. So I'm going to experience a lot less fratricide. So he is. So we need to charge them as they get up on the walls so they don't get established. Okay, there's one thing the Russians are fairly good at. Oh, yep, they're fighting over this. Charge in. Because they're going to slaughter my slaughter my um, musketeers or my skirmishers. Okay, let's get my light foot down here out of the way. Let's get a unit of foot up on the walls. Let's run you guys to also engage the Russians. actually doing quite well. Concerned because of their exposed flanks. Let's turn firewall off. Let's get you guys off the wall. Let's get a unit of foot up here. And another unit of foot up here. Who brought their gun teams? Oh no, it's this. Their cavalry. Let's employ the fencibles to fight the garrison, fight them, the attacking Russians as well. Now we have the numbers advantage on this section of the wall, which is great. Troops are actually broken, so just kill the ones that are up here. Good stuff. Get you guys back onto your section of the wall. Let's probably bring you guys back down. We'll bring you guys down here instead. charge the Russians, they're, they're trying to charge up the wall. Good, the Russians are routing. To charge another unit of foot into the Musketeers. So they say they're winning, but not enough. Nope, they're routing. So instead let's run this unit through the combat and go to support 57th. It's a proper full bone general staff. Ah, oh, they're all... they're bugged. Some of them are just stuck in the gate. Who are you actually shooting at? Some of them are shooting up onto the wall. Which isn't what I want. So I love how all our troops are attacking over the walls, but the officer... 
two of my officers. Well, my officer, Banner Bear, and both my drummers are going to shimmy up and attack them from the rear. Yeah, there's still a good fight going on. And they're back to targeting. Back to targeting the Russians out front, but I want to move them slightly to the left so they pick up the guns. Come on, lads. That's got him. Choke hold. He's out. I do like if they've got ammunition, they do use their guns. This is starting to get a bit annoying, this like flashing. Spiked him. Now ah, the Russians have got our boy now. They killed him! Right, send our infantry in. Fighting over it. Yeah, they're just taking a whole load of kills. Deaths, casualties, that's the word I was looking for. Good. So you take up position here. Yes, sir. Our men are running, sir. Well, that's fair enough. I just want to give you some good orders. Oh well. Speed up time because right now I think everything's a bit stagnant and buggy. So those are. Glorious victories, huh? It's so there's still some. Oh, they're rout They're routing. That's why. I get you. Okay then, out we go. Because we're still in a good position here to suck up a load of their cavalry into these spikes. Let's probably run you guys out here. Let's run them all. Because at least with the unit on the walls, it gives us some protection. Go on, Dutch Garrison, have a go at the light horse. These poor devils. They run almost exclusively over the over the trap. Capture the guns. Especially as they are kind of stirring the hell out of you. Thought they have a chance to fire. Good stuff. Let's turn the fire wheel off for them. Damn right, I've killed their general. Yeah, that was closer than I thought. Just goes to show how much I know about defending sieges in oh, Napoleon. Ambush? Wait, we've been ambushed? No, they must have been ambushed. God damn. Well, looking at the timer, I believe at the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for presumably our ambush, because we deploy second and they deploy first against this Russian column near um, Innsbruck. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed.